Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we're going to learn how to write the following numbers as a product of their prime factors. Note that prime factors are numbers that can only be divided by themselves and 1. For example, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. In the first example, we have 24. And we are going to be using the repeated division method. Because 24 is an even number, we are going to start with the first prime number, which is 2. So 24 divided by 2, we are going to write a 2 here. 24 divided by 2, that's 12. That's an even number. We can still divide by 2. 2 in 12, that's 6. That's another even number. We can still divide by 2. 2 in 6, 3. We can't divide by 2 anymore, so we move to the next prime number, which is 3. So we have 3 in 3, 1. And as soon as we get to 1, we stop. So therefore, 24, as a product of its prime factors, is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. It's all the factors we have here while dividing. In the next example, we have... 300. To write 300 as a product of its prime factors, 300 is an even number, so we start with the lowest prime number, which is 2. 2 in 300, we have 150. That's still an even number. We divide through by 2 again. 2 in 150, that's 75. 75 is not an even number, so we move to the next prime number, which is 5. Uh, we can still divide through by 3 before we get to 5. 3 in 75, 25. We can't divide by 3 anymore, so we move to 5. 5 in 25, 5. And 5 in 5, 1. Once we get to 1, we stop. So, therefore, 300 as a product of its prime factors equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. In the next example, we have... 34, 34 is an even number, so we start dividing through by the first prime number, which is 2, 2 in 34, that's 17. 17 itself is a prime number, so we can only divide it by 17, and that's 1. And once we get to 1, we have 34 written as a product of its prime factor equals 2 times 17. In the last example, which is at D, we have 98, like we did earlier. We're going to start dividing by the lowest prime number, which is 2, because 98 is an even number. 2 in 98, we're going to have 49. We can't divide through by 2 anymore. We go to 3, there's going to be a remainder. We go to 5, there's going to be a remainder. Let's try 7. 7 in 49, that's 7. And then 7 in 7, because that's another prime number. That's 1. And as soon as we get to 1, we stop. So therefore, 98 written as a product of its prime factors equals 2 times 7 times 7. Thanks for watching. Bye.